hi guys welcome back to my channel so we are here again with another dupe friday so if you want to see what we dupe out you know dupe out today you already know what to do keep on watching Okay, so today I'm actually gonna so they don't have the exact exact same shade, but I think they're pretty quick close and they don't have the same number of shades, but I think they're close. So this is the Formula 2 palette and it's the Bicker Bronze from Plainy Makeup by Orlando, which looks like so. That is actually $19.99 or $20, and now they have it on sale for $8. So if you know it's a dupe, you should totally so look, look at the shades, right? This one have a shimmer and I, so but I think the shades are pretty, like these shades right here are pretty close. And then we have the Plainy Makeup, Plainy Makeup, Makeup by Mario, which looks like so. She still can have the reds and the browns and the nudes. And looks like so. But this is $49. $49. This is $20. So $29 more and it's like this is eight dollars now this is still 49 dollars so let us look it out let's see let's see let's see so first i'm gonna go with this palette man i'm wearing this crop top from like <laughs> savage x fenty it's like cropped cropped i'm like girl really I'm not skinny, but I like the top. I like the color actually. So we're gonna go into this palette first. So I'm gonna go into the really dark brown right here and I'm just gonna put it right here. Like right here. And I'm putting it tight. We're gonna try to make the look pretty similar. I'm not gonna use the shimmer because that palette does not have sh a shimmer from um what's the face from makeup by Mario so we're not gonna put no shimmer oh and this was a uh, Y208 I'm gonna use try to use the same brushes so. Or the same, the same type of brush, not the same brush, because we want to make sure we give them. So this is blending pretty nicely. So I think this palette does have like a brownish one. Let me make sure, because I want to use, yeah, it does. I want to use similar shades, you know, similar shades. Similar shades. So this is a T81. And we're gonna go into this shade right here. And then I'm gonna use this like right here. And just blending this nicely. Yep. So I'm gonna go back to that 208 brush and back to that first shade. Now I'm gonna use this brush and I'm gonna go into this shade right here and I'm gonna put that in my inner corner. Yep, so this is good. I'm gonna leave this like this and I'm gonna jump to the next eye. So we're gonna switch palettes my only issue is i feel like that brown might not be as dark but we'll we'll see i don't expect the shades to be like exact but i'm trying to give you guys you know a cheaper option with the same kind of color palette so we're gonna go with a 208 brush and i'm gonna go into this shade right here i think it might be and if it's not i can give it a little bit of black to like no, it might be pretty good. 
and then we're just gonna put it the same way man this his shadows don't alike like his matte shadows are so easy to blend like they I feel like you don't even have to put that much effort in them to blend you know so easy so easy this is a y11 and i'm gonna go into this shade right here to try to get this red that i have like right here so i feel like the reds are a little bit different and this i feel like this is kind of cooler and then this is warmer But it's okay. But man, look at how this just blends like so easy. I like to bring my shadows all the way up because I really don't have a lot of lid space, so it's like it makes it easier for me. And this is so easy to blend. And then same thing, I'm gonna go back in here for a little bit more of the brown. And then back here with this blush and just blend this. Like this is so easy to blend. Now I'm gonna take this brush and we're gonna go into this shade right here. Now I'll put this right here. Back to here. And blend this. Okay. So I don't know. This this looks pretty similar. I know this here and this up here looks a little bit different because of how the reds kind of blended um i don't know i don't know i'm still you know on the fence about them but i'm gonna go off camera i'm gonna finish my eyes and then i'll come back on camera i'll do my face and at the end i will let you guys know if this is a dupe or not so see you guys later okay so i'm back and let's finish up the face the face put this back here a bit um no, I don't know what foundation I should use. Let me wear this. This is my concealer from a corrector from Huda Beauty, and this is Mango. A little bit, nothing crazy. I go with the heavier, like under my eye, because that's why I have the most stuff. This like blends so easy. And I think this is the, the perfect shade for me, see? This looks light. Mm. And this is my flawless brush from Plenty Makeup by Orlando. See what? 14.5 from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Oh, this is from like she glam did this even work for me so this is my slick brush i'm just gonna use this to blend this out i'm gonna use this from charlotte tilbury Oh, I need a new one. It's almost done. Now I'm gonna go to my house lapse powder. And 
go over top. And to set the rest of my face, I'm gonna use my broken micro smooth powder from Sephora. This thing's been broken for a minute, but I refuse to, you know, buy another one and I'm done with it. So I'm using Legend 24 Hour Waterline by Urban Decay. This is the best for this, the best. I'm gonna go into this shade right here and I'm just gonna buff that. And I'm gonna go do the same thing with the red in the shade or in this palette. So in this, for this eye, I'm going to go into back to this palette, go to the really light shade right here, bring it down, clean the brush, go into this one, same thing, really light shade. I'm going to use my House Labs bronzer. Let's use this. This is from Sephora and it is the Even Till Brush 72. We need to bring some color back in this face. Because my face looks pale. This top, I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna leave the house with it. Because it's like, I feel like, you know, my whole soul is showing because <laughs> it's so short like it's crop crop that's not magic I'm actually gonna use color fuse blush in shade hibiscus haze from house lab I don't like this brush but it's gonna have to work this is a f15 from sigma oh God. so i'm gonna use this from abh and to line my lip i'm gonna use is that malt yep from abh as well Let's just give it a little pour for Chanel from Benefit. This is from MAC and it is the Blimmin' Blush, but it's kind of a highlighter. Okay, so yeah, everything looks really, really nice. I know this shade looks a little bit different from this, but I think this is the closest that I was able to, you know, get. So, see, so this is on this eye. And then this is on this eye. So these are the two palettes I'm duking out today. Um, the shades look pretty similar. The look that they create is very similar. Um, this is $50. This is usually $20. Now it's on sale for $8. Shades, I think they're pretty close, right? Like, I know these are more shades, but the shades are also very small. So... So it looks like this, and this has a shimmer, but this one doesn't have a shimmer. But the shades, they're kind of, I think, from the same family. So in the, for the shade, I think it's a dupe, right? Like in the shade, I think, if you can get this, get it. Especially now, so far as a VIB sale. If not this, it's, you can create a very similar look when it goes to the shade one. However, when you go to blendability, this this wins by like, you know, a billion percent. Like it's just, her shadows blend fine, but I think especially if you're a beginner, yeah, I know a beginner, $50 is a lot to spend on a palette, but it, it just, like you just literally just do this. No real effort and it just, it just blends like a dream. Like it's just, 
so smooth and so powdery and just so easy to blend so when it comes to like blendability no they're not even close i think this is a much better palette for that so yeah if you're only looking for a shade dupe a hundred percent if you're looking for a like blending no so is this a dupe I guess kind of is and kind of end, you know, if it's, if you're just looking for the shades, yes. If you're looking for, you know, something that blends like the same, or at least pretty close to it, nope. They, so yeah, so I'll go ahead and say nope. I don't think they do at all. Like, it's just, if that's what you can afford, you get this. If that's what you can afford, you get this. But the shades, the colors are similar, but the blendability is of two different worlds. So that's it guys for this foundation. <laughs> nope. <laughs> That's it guys for this dupe video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, join the family. And you know what? I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.